$5 Games presents Nuclear Throne, brought to you by a comment by George Serna8411. The plot in the game is to reach the nuclear throne. I didn't get there, I kept dying around this level, so I can't say much more than that regarding the plot. It's a twin stick shooter, but the mouse and keyboard configuration worked fine. WASD and you shoot where your cursor is. Each level seems to be randomly generated and requires the destruction of all enemies to complete them. The world world slash environments are given through a linear order with the occasional offshoot levels as shown here. Although I'm unsure how I activated the portal that led there, as on subsequent attempts I just ended up destroying the portal. At the beginning of the game you choose your character and each of them has a unique ability with varying stats. For the ones I tried out, there's the fish thing, it can roll, but I didn't like it. Would probably become more useful if I got used to it, but first impression is that it's for experts. The crystal thing can block a few shots and felt great. There's also an upgrade that lets you teleport to your cursor after using it. The tentacle thing has magnetism. Because things like experience despawn on the ground, this felt amazing. It was also great for setting up enemies around corners. This molten wax thing can make corpses explode. I like the ability, but it doesn't outweigh the 2 HP the character gets. Some attacks do 2 damage, so it's basically a character that dies in one shot. The plant thing can snare enemies, and although I thought it sounded good, it felt awful in practice. I constantly felt like it would be better if I just shot the enemies instead. The robot can eat weapons, which is really useful, as you can only carry two weapons at a time, and this turns the extra ones into life or ammo. There does seem to be things that you can equip at the start of the game, but I didn't unlock any of them, so I'm unsure if it's actually that. It might just be achievements. The game is fun and I appreciated the quality of life feature of turning off the screen shape. Although you can get messed up by bad RNG, I didn't progress far enough in the game where that was the main thing holding me back. Which is what happened in another game after pouring hundreds of hours into it. And it's possible that this one will have a similar problem, but I didn't make it far enough to know. Of what I played, it was fun. And that's a wrap for this game. Consider picking this game up instead of a creature from a black lagoon.